Hello, good morning everyone. So, uh, this morning, I'm going to give you a tour to my orchid garden. So, here it is. Alright, so, here are my orchids. You can see vandas hanging and then some flowers on the table. So Phalaenopsis is on this area, some other species as well, okay. So this is a uh, Vanda species, I just forgot what it's called, I forgot to put a name tag on it, so I'm going to figure that out later. This is one of the Cattleya I have. Such a gorgeous flowers there. And next to it is another type of orchid. And it's called Aganisha Sila Alpa. I can't even read but it's but it's written there anymore. Okay, so it's also pretty flowers. Okay, another one is about to bloom. This one is one of the rare orchid I have. This is another type of Cattleya. And this is one unusual flower I have as well. It's part of the Cattleya family. There you go. One of my Vanda has bloomed as well. It's a yellow flower with some brown spots on it. Okay, this one is about to bloom as well. See another vanda here. This one has a huge flowers. Once it once it blooms, it has a vibrant red color of flowers, which is really huge and it's really pretty. So I'll show that to you guys once it's full bloom. Okay. I have another huge vanda here forgot its name. I, th I think I have a name tag. Okay. Red Dragon Penan Oh, shoot. I can't read what's written there anymore as well. So, yeah. It will be nice. So, next to it, I have a green house where I keep the rest of my there the rest of my orchids let's go inside you will see there's an torium below okay they are so it's a mix species species okay this one is there's a name tag let's see if it if we can still read that I really have to uh, make the name taggings clear and use a different pen because this pen is definitely not working okay this pen that just bloomed okay this is Pophio pedilums if I'm not mistaken you have to be careful taking care of this one. Make sure there won't be there won't be water that will be trapped on top of its uh, crown, which is this one. Okay, so there I have a lot of pet layers here as well. So they love the greenhouse because it, it actually traps humidity, which orchids love on tropical weather like Malaysia and Philippines. 
so there. There you go. There you go. This is my mini orchid garden.